All right, step one in building the train tutorial. I'm going to start off with the train body. I've got the instructions over on the right and the uh, inventor software here on the left. So the first thing we're going to do is draw these lines. You want to try to keep these perpendicular to each other. You can see that little line there that I need to dimension. It. This one here is 2.5. And 2.5, and the bottom one is 2. Okay, and then I'm going to use a three point arc to click here, click here, and I just come up a little bit, and it's going to create this. There's the center of my arc right there, so I'm going to dimension that to be 0.5. And I've got that done, so now I can finish my sketch. And I'm going to extrude it 5 and a half inches. And there's my body. And I'm going to save that just as... Train 12, just so I can find it. I want to save it as you go, in case something happens to it. Okay, and so now I'm going to create sketch. Click here, click on the front of it. And that's all that means. And that gives me those lines there. And now I'm going to draw a line from here to here. You notice that little perpendicular thing came up so that I know that'll work. And then I'm going to dimension from here to here as 0 0.875. 0 0.875. And then I can finish my sketch. And now I'm going to cut this top part out. So I am going to I click this button here to cut. And I want to cut it 3.75. 3.75. And you can pause this as you go to get whatever you need. Okay, 3.75. Here's my train body. I'm going to save it again. Okay, so it looks like that. Again, create a sketch on the front. I'm now going to turn this around so I'm looking right at it. And I'm going to make a circle. When you make this circle, make sure you don't put the center point on this line. It has to be above the line somewhere. And this is actually going to be a 1.5, so I'll put that in right now, 1.5 inches. And then I've got two dimensions from the center point to the side is one inch. Got that perfect. And from the center point to the bottom is 1.375, 1.375. Okay, and so that's got that right where I need it. So I can finish my sketch. Let me turn it so I can see what I'm doing. The instructions tell you to do this. Kind of interesting. So you extrude. Click my circle. And they tell you to go to change this to 2. Click my back surface, meaning I want to go back there. Now if it looks red like this, it's because it thinks you want to cut it. So you click the top button, and that makes it solid. And then you're good. So now I've got that. Save it. Scroll down, I've got all that, and now I need to do the work plane thing. So I expand my origin, I click work plane, XZ, click on the top, oops, didn't work, plane, XZ, click on the top. Now I got it. I'm going to flip over to the top, I need to now create a sketch. When you create a sketch on a work plane, you have to click on the edge of it so it lights up like that. Now I've got a sketch plane. And so now I can, I need a center point here in the middle here somewhere. Now I'm also going to need to project geometry, this outside line here. I need to click here and I need to click on the front because I've got a dimension to those two lines. Because now I'm going to dimension right there. From the center point to that line is 0 0.875, 0 0.875, 0 
0.875 and from there front is 1 okay and then I can finish my sketch you rotate so I can like, go back home and come down here because I'm going to now do a hole got that there and it is uh, right here come back half inch diameter quarter inch deep so that means this is my half inch diameter and a quarter inch deep click OK and there's my hole now I can I'm not going to need that work plane for anymore so I'm going to right click on it and uncheck visibility that way I'm looking straight just at it right okay I go to the right side create sketch on the side um, now I'm going to do these holes on the side so I'm going to create center points one here one here and do my dimensions are one inch in from each end so I'm going to go from here to here is one inch and from here to here is one inch and then the height from here to here is not sure 0.5 okay 0.5 and from here to here 0.5 and then finish my sketch do my holes I want these to be here and distance through all and they are going to be a quarter of an inch and all the way through okay and there's my holes and they go all the way through and save it go to the side again create my sketch and now I'm going to make that cut out in the back I was showing you how to do it in class so I'm going to make a circle that is one inch in diameter and then let me scroll down to where it is and then I'm going to dimension from here oops, um, down here here and that is 1.75 1.75 and from um, here to here is 0.25 Point two five. Oops. Point two five. Try one more time. Point two five. There we go. And then I'm going to draw. Use my line command and go from the top over down and over. And then just to make sure, I'm going to. I can't even find my trim. Okay, let's try it without the trim. Finish my sketch. Let's see if this works. Yep, that worked. Click here. That right there. Got it all. And so I cut, and I'm going to say all. And there it is. Almost done. So. Now I just, it tells me that I, I need to do some fillets. It says a 0.1 fillet. So I click fillet and change that to 0.1. Then I got to click over here so that I can select them. Move this out of the way and start selecting. Now you may have to do this more than once. You may have to do it in sections. I'm going to do it in two sections so that through all the ones I can see right now, um, like that, 
and, you, and that one, and apply those. See if they all take. They do. And then I'll come over and do the last few here. What are doing here? Let's see if these all take. Oh, actually, that one I don't want. And I did all those. So that's basically my train. Now, in the instructions down here, uh, there are instructions on how to do this part down here. Uh, well, let's see. You don't need to do this. I guess I can uh, see if I can do it with the time that I got left. I think I got enough time, so I'll try it. So I sketch on the front. And I put a point here, here, here. And then I got to do a bunch of, uh, I got to do some project geometry because I need to have this outside line here. And so then I am going to dimension from this center point to that outside line. One inch, perfect. I need to make, this is my horizontal constraint. So I'm going to click that. If I click these two points, that makes them always stick, always line up together this way. And so now if I do, I dimension, oh, I didn't fill it that. So that's going to give me a different fillet. Nice. Okay. Okay. Well, then that's going to go from here. There should be a fillet here that I didn't do. So it's going to actually be, instead of 0.125, it's going to be... 0.225 maybe because I didn't do the fillet. Let's see if that works. Um, close enough. And then from the end, I gotta have something here telling me where the end is. Oh, and then they're 1.25 apart. 1.25 apart. And then there's something that tells them where they are. I don't see it. Oh, because there wasn't. There was something, and I can't remember. It looks like they're even. I'm going to leave it like that. There is a number, and I used to know what it was. It used to be that it would be from here to here. Sure, not that. Um, I don't know. Not sure. Delete that. Okay, I'm just going to go through and finish this up. Those are not the quite right dimensions here. But we are going to make some holes. Finish my sketch. Holes before I run out of time. You don't need to be doing this anyways. So the diameter is 0 0.125. 0 0.125. And the depth is 0.125. And we want it to be flat. See it flat. Oh, there it is right there. And flat and okay. And looks like they're not there, but they are. Okay, so I do one final save. And there you have the finished train body.